why does AI not produce anything new? So far, AI has been incapable of creating anything, as they would say, novel, anything new, anything innovative. Now, of course, there's a big difference between something being new, something being different, and something being innovative. The goal is obviously innovation. Plenty of things are new and different, but they're nothing innovative. It's not any sort of achievement to just sort of rearrange things and it's just the same thing we already had, but rearranged. That's sort of what AI does right now. Now, a few insights. I have seen people, sort of slightly insidery people, demonstrate OpenAI's GPT-3 was apparently a little more uncaged, a little more off the leash than ChatGPT. And that the AI would do crazy creative things. It could say all kinds of amazing things and it did it just naturally. That's also where the hallucinating sort of came from. You know, it's, it's creating on its own. So these AIs are creating things all the time, very naturally. The hallucinating really is creativity. So it's very interesting that the AI never creates anything new or anything innovative. What we're looking at is one of two things as being the truth here. Either one, it truly is not capable of it. It's missing some sort of feature or function that would allow it to do anything innovative or it's being deliberately limited. Okay, now that's very interesting because if it's being deliberately limited, it suggests that it can already create things right now. Now, of course, when people say, well, I can create things, I can ask it to write a sonnet about this and that. It's like, yes, okay. So again, this is sort of the inconsequential, new and different, but not necessarily innovative. And while I love all that stuff and it can do all kinds of writing, create all kinds of pictures and all those sorts of things, and, and that stuff is really great. But I think most people who are interested in AI, they sort of look at it like, what I want is for the AI to be stuck on the problems at the frontier of engineering, medicine and physics. That's what we want. So we want innovative technology. You know, AI, you go figure out, you know, how so-and-so so illness can be cured. Okay, you tell us. Here's the information, go nuts. But the reason why I say it might be limited is that it seems like these AI companies have a very easy time of censoring the AI. It doesn't swear, it doesn't do anything like that, it doesn't say anything negative. They seem to have very, very effective ways of making sure that it doesn't misbehave. So that's why it's sort of interesting that it can't do anything new, especially now that GPT-4 or GPT-4.0, I've used, it can search the internet, it can check what it's saying, it can do all these things. It's like you think, well, first thing you do is you stick it with a problem and say, okay, now go ferret out the information for yourself. Try and figure out what these solutions are. Give me, give me some options at the very least, but it can't even do that. So it's certainly plausible that AI is being limited because if it started to invent and create, that could cause all kinds of problems. And of course, because these things have public access, you don't necessarily want the public having the AI come up with all kinds of crazy things. Maybe if it's, if you're an industry insiders and you're working with the AI, so medical people and all these sorts of people, they they might be able to use this thing and, you know, they're not going to just give this stuff away or do, do sort of strange things or dangerous things with it. So, you know, I can see why that's, that might be the case, but my hope is that it is being limited deliberately because if it isn't, then it means that a big breakthrough is going to come through where they may have to limit it. One way or another, they'll have to limit the public from being able to use AI to come up with all kinds of crazy new things. So that's just something, you know, I'm not really seeing other people saying, and yeah, I just thought it should be said.